Shalom, shalom, shalom. Um, once again, you're now under the sounds of the voice of your brother, your Ak, Taza Doc. And I wanted to talk to you today about something um, I feel is actually essential and pertinent in your livelihood, or towards your livelihood. And it's about the dangers of microwave cooking and how microwave essentially results in obesity and also how microwave cooking is essentially killing you. Now, microwave cooking is one of the most important causes of health illness. It actually certainly is one of the most that's actually ignored. Now, there was a lawsuit back in 1991 in Oklahoma. <clears throat> a woman named Norma, actually Norma Levette, had a hip surgery. But she was actually killed by a simple blood transfusion when a nurse actually warmed the blood for the blood transfusion in a microwave oven. Now, logically, or well, logic should suggest that if heating is all there is that's actually involved in microwave cooking, then it does not matter how something is actually heated. Blood for transfusion, to those of you, you know, that verse in the medical field, and to my understanding, is routinely warm, but not in microwave ovens. Now... Does it not therefore follow that microwave cooking does something quite different than the conventional heating and cooking? Now, a little evidence of the harm caused by microwave was given by the University of Minnesota in a radio announcement. And I'm going to quote. Um, I have the, um, the, um, a copy of that recording, and I'm going to read from those transcripts, and it says, microwaves are not recommended for heating a baby's bottle. The bottle may seem cool to the touch, but the liquid inside may become extremely hot and could burn the baby's mouth and throat. The article goes on to say, Heating the, the bottle in a microwave can cause slight changes, I'm sorry, slight changes in the milk. In infant formulas, there may be a loss of some vitamins. In express breast milk, some protective properties may be de destroyed. Warming a bottle by holding it under water or by sitting it in a bowl of warm water, then testing it on your wrist before feeding may take a few minutes longer, but it is much safer. End the quote. Now, that's a quote came from a university. Now, folks, there have been very few scientific studies done on the effects of eating food from a microwave or that was cooked or warm in a microwave or microwave food. Now, this is rather surprising when you think about the fact that microwaves have been with us for only a few decades. And that, in that time, it, you know, these incidents of many diseases continue to increase as a result of microwave eating. Now, two researchers, Blanc and Hertel, confirmed that microwave cooking is significantly changes food's nutrients. Hertel previously worked as a food scientist for several years with one of the major Swiss food companies. He was actually fired from his job. He was this man was fired from his job for questioning the procedures and processing 
food because they actually denatured the food. So he got together with a man by the name of Blanc, B L A N C, if you want to go and look it up for yourself, of the Swiss Federal Institute of Biochemistry and the University Institute of Biochemistry. Now, they actually study the effects of microwave food that it actually had on eight individuals, on eight different people by taking blood samples immediately after those people would actually eat something from the microwave. They found that after eating microwave food, hemoglobin levels decrease. Now, these results show magnetic tendencies and the situation became even more pronounced during the second month of the study. Now, who knows what results they would have found if they had actually studied people who ate microwave food for a year or more. Who knows what they may have found. Now, the violent change that the microwave caused to the food molecules forms new life forms called radiolithic compounds. Now, these are mutations that are unknown in the natural world. Now, ordinarily cooking, just ordinary cooking, also causes the formations of some radiolithic compounds, which is no doubt one reason why it is better to eat plenty of raw food, such as raw vegetables and so on and so forth, fruit, vegetables, so on and so forth. But microwave cooking causes a much greater number. And this then causes deteriorations in your blood and immune system. All as a result of microwave food. I hope you're hearing me. So in addition, they found that the number of lutetics increase at the eating microwave food. Now, something which actually hematologists take very seriously because this is often a sign of highly harmful effects such as poisoning. Now, also after eating microwave food, cholesterol levels increase. Hertel said that common scientific belief states that the cholesterol values usually alter slowly over longer periods of time. Now, in this study, the maker increased rapidly after the consumption of microwave vegetables. So, he believes his study tends to conform or confirm New scientific data that suggests that cholesterol may rapidly increase in blood secondary to acute stress. Why are your doctors not telling you this? To those of you that have high blood pressure, to those of you that have problems with cholesterol, why is your doctors not telling you do not eat microwave food? Do not eat processed food because processed food is often warm a cook in a microwave so just something that you should be thinking about now also he added that blood cholesterol levels are less influenced by cholesterol content of food than by stress factors so such stress causing factors can apparently consist of foods which actually consist virtually no cholesterol. The microwave vegetables could actually cause this. Now, the results were actually published in Search for Help in the spring of 1992, which was this research you know, which was actually after this research was done. The results of this research was actually published in that magazine. Now, a powerful trade organization, the Swiss Associations of Dealers of, you know, household and industry somehow made, you know, 
the president of the court issue a gag order in hotel and blank were told that if they published their findings, they would face fines up to X amount of dollars and one year in prison. So in response to the block and her tell, what they actually found in their findings, her tell, on the other hand, went on a lecture tour and demanded a jury trial. So her tell decided that, you know, he was finally you know going to do it. So finally in 1998, the court gag order was removed. So in judgment delivered at Starsboro, the 25th of August, 1998, in the case Hartel versus Switzerland, the European Court of Human Rights held that there had been a violation of Hartel's right in the 1993 decision. So the court decided that the gag order prohibiting him from declaring that microwave food is dangerous to help was contrary to the right to freedom of expression. So, in addition, Switzerland was sentenced to pay compensation of F40,000. So, in summary, Blunt and Hortel found that, that eating microwave food, this is what they found in their founders. Increased cholesterol levels, if you're eating food, that's I'm cooked in a microwave, and you've been watching your cholesterol, but your cholesterol is still increasing. Guess why? Because you're eating microwave foods. Also, it increased white blood cell numbers. Food that's actually cooked in a microwave, or warmed in a microwave. It also decreases red blood cell numbers. Food that's warm, or cooked in a microwave. And it causes productions of radiolithic compounds compounds which are essentially unknown in nature now Russian what about the Russians ban microwave ovens now after World War II the Russians also experimented with microwave ovens so from 1957 to recently their research has been carried out mainly at the Institute of Radi Radio Technology at Kursen. Now, according to U.S. researcher William Kopp, who actually gathered much of the results of the Russian and German research and was apparently prosecuted for doing so, number one, heating prepared meats he, they found that heating prepared meats in a microwave sufficiently for human consumption created a well-known cancer causing agent. Second thing, it caused the destabilizations of active protein biomolecule compounds. The next thing, it caused a creation of of a bonding effect of radioactivity in the atmosphere. They also discover that it caused a creation of a cancer causing agent with protein hydrocyndolite. Listen to me, compounds in milk and cereal grains. The next thing that they noticed that microwave emissions also cause alterations in the caliber breakdown behaviors of the glucide element within frozen fruit when thawed in the microwave. Again, they also discovered that microwave altered caliber behavior of the plant alkaloids when raw Cook or frozen vegetables were exposed for very, very short periods. The next discovered that they discovered was cancer causing free 
radio calls were formed within certain trace mineral molecules formations in plant substances, especially, especially in raw root vegetables. In their discovery, they also detected that ingesting of microwave foods cause a higher percentage of cancerous cells in the blood. Don't believe me? Go and check this out for yourself. Now, it, in their research, they also discovered that due to the chemical alteration within food substance, malfunctions occurred in the limit. Lymphatic system causing degeneration of the immune system. And degeneration of the immune system's capacity to protect against cancerous growth. Microwave food is causing this. Another finding was the unstable, um, you know, um, Cannibalism of microwave foods altered their um, elements, food substance, leading to disorders in the digestive system. So the microwave food caused disorders in the digestive system. Another discovery was those ingesting microwave foods showed a statistically higher incidence of stomach and intestinal cancers, plus a general degeneration of peripheral cellular tissues with a gradual breakdown of digestive and excretory system functions. Microwave exposure caused a significant decrease in the nutritional value of all food studies. All foods cooked in a microwave, warmed in a microwave, it decreased the nutritional value of that food. A decrease was caused by simply putting it in the microwave of vitamin B complex, vitamin C, vitamin E, and essential minerals. It also caused destruction of the nutritional value of nuclear proteins in meals, lowering of the metabolic activity of alkaloids. So when you eat this processed food that's warm in a microwave, it slows down your metabolic rate and prevents you from going to the bathroom as frequently, and therefore much of that stays with you. So, as a result, microwave ovens were banned in Russia in 1976. The ban was lifted later. Now, standing in front of a microwave is so highly damaging, folks, to your health. Perhaps you've already felt this initiatively. But, we know that cells explode in the microwave. So, just... Frying an egg in your microwave is harmful. So, we are made up of trillions of cells. So, work out how many are getting damaged if you stand in front of your microwave for 5 to 15 seconds. So, in the past, i had been told that it was important for people to stop eating microwave food, but I did not pay too much attention to it because I had been microwave cooking for years. You know, um, not that I eat anything that was cooked in the microwave, but if I need to rewarm something, hey, throw it in the microwave. Didn't think very much of it because my thing is producer proof. I never thought much, much about it, but... I suppose that I figure that if something was so bad for us, then there wouldn't be so many people using them. But little did I know that most people are caught up into the matrix and most people do what they see others doing. 
So when I first begin seeing clients um, that I actually was interacting with and started studying kinesiology, I did not worry too much about telling them to give them eating microwave foods when I was personal training people, I didn't tell them, hey, stay away from the microwave until I'd done my own research. However, I kept a record of all of them, all of their corrections that were needed for each client that I was actually personally training as a personal trainer. Now, once I made the correction to stay away from microwave food, I started coaching these people. Hey, you shouldn't eat microwave food because of this reason and that reason. It destroys the nutrients in the food and so on and so forth. Now, the question was, why did their electrical circuits go out of balance? When people stood in front of a microwave. See, most of my clients came back to see me after about two weeks of my research and I found that many who came back didn't really care whether or not they was eating microwave food. But they were out of balance. And that is their electrical circuits not working correctly which is common for many people. It was therefore not surprising that there were not much, you know, many of them was actually not much better because they continue on eating this microwave food. So the question was, why did the electrical circuit not go out of balance? And the answer had to be something that was highly stressful to the effect to actually affect the body in such a short space of time. So once that answer was remedy, the client would begin to get better. Now using muscle testing, I went through the process of testing if the cause was electrical, chemical, nutritional, emotional, or structural. So again and again, the same answer would come up, electrical. When I then went through a range of possible electrical causes, the same answer again came up again and again and again and again. So incidentally, these people problems was that they was eating microwave food. Incidentally, this answer never came up when a person had not eaten microwave food. The electrical was not in balance. But those that eat microwave food, the electrical became in balance. So brothers and sisters, be careful of eating this microwave food. Be careful of trying to prepare these quick meals. Be careful of the radiation that you're putting into your bodies. Microwave food is destroying you. Microwave food is killing you. Processed food is destroying each and every one of you that continue to eat from it. These microwaves. Microwave plastic wrap has 10 million times FDA limits. 10 million times. 10 million times, folks. So, brothers and sisters, your alternative is that you could heat food quickly in a conventional oven. It's just as ordinary, ordinary oven as a fan. You can also easily and quickly heat foods when frozen, like frozen pasta, 
using a sauce pan or something like that. Stay away from these microwave foods. They are killing you. They are destroying your cells. They can cause cancer. They can cause high cholesterol. Don't believe me. Go and check it out for yourselves. The only thing I'm here to do is to give you right knowledge and to teach you the truth. Thereafter, you're in the valley of decision. So if you have a family member, if you have a loved one, if you have someone close to you that overindulges or not even overindulges but love to consume microwave food and they may have cancer, they may have high cholesterol, they may have high blood pressure, well, it is your duty to inform them that if they continue to eat microwave food, it will continue to destroy their cells, it will continue to increase their cholesterol, and perhaps instead of the high blood pressure medication, simply discontinue eating microwave food may be a remedy. To those that suffering from cancer, it could be perhaps caused by eating microwave foods. Don't believe me? Go and check it out for yourselves. I'm Todd the Doc. We're going to bring this one to an end. As usual, share this video. Like this video. Um, I hope that you actually gather something from this video. Um, subscribe to the channel. I'm Taza Doc Shaw is out. Shalom, Yasha Allah. Shabbat Shalom. Kwam Yasha Allah.